Hello and welcome to YQ Academy Tutorials. My name is Priyanka and topic for today's discussion is Strings in JavaScript. So I'm using Visual Studio Code for running the program and my file name is String.js. Strings are collection of characters. Let's create a string. So I'm using let keyword. Uh, the variable name I'm taking as name and in this variable I'm going to store a string and to store string in this variable so I can use single quote and I can use double quote as well first let me use single quote and I am taking here uh, the name as Harry so um, we can use double quote as well let me take example for this here I am taking name to as variable name and I am storing a string in it so I will use this time double quote and here I am taking uh, the string as Ron. So these both are correct. I can use single as well as double quote. Let's see the output. Here I can see the output as Harry and Ron. I can also find the length of this string. So let me write name dot method that is length here the length of this name string is uh, 5 because 1 Harry 1 2 3 4 and 5 and here the length is 3 so I can see 3 as output we can also access a string like this so here if you see the output we can see h because here what I am doing uh, we are uh, trying to access the string first index so here the first index is here the value at first index is h therefore it is printed so the index starts from 0 and then 1 2 3 and 4 so here uh, the string name is name and I'm, I'm trying to access the zeroth index value. So I write like this. Let's take another example for name 2. For name 2 variable, I'm trying to find the second index value. So at second index in this string, n is there. So n is printed because R is at 0th index, then it is at 1st index, and N is at 2 index. So here we can see N as out. Now let's understand uh, template literal. Template literal is a part of modern JavaScript. So here modern JavaScript started. So let me write the first variable name as uh, person1, and I'm taking person1 name as Harry. Let me write another variable name as person2 and here let's write the name of this person2 as Ron. Now if I want to print uh, this person1 Harry is a friend of this person2 Ron and if I change the value of person1 to some other name then it can also be printed to this variable only using template literals. So for this purpose we use template literals. Let me write another variable as a sentence and here I'm using backtick and let's write the variable name person1 is friend of second variable now let's see the output here I can see Harry is friend of Ron now let's Take, uh, now let's change this name. Now let's see the output. Daisy is a friend of Ron. So this is the use of template literal. Now let's see escape sequence character as well. Let's write the keyword that is let. And then I'm taking variable name as x. Now let's write string over here. So here uh, 
uh, JavaScript will misunderstand it, like where the string is started, where the string is ended. So for this, we can use single quote escape sequence to solve the problem. Here, we just have to write backslash. We can use double quote as well. Let's see the output. So here, hello there, how are you? Now let's see few methods of a string. Let me iterate this. Let me write the variable name as name and here I'm storing a string and uh, let me write Harry. Now let's use a property of string. So let me first write console.log and then the variable name and then property. That is length. You can see the output as 5. The length of this string Harry is 5. So here 5 gets printed. Let's write one method. Variable name as name. And then let's write a method of string uh, to uppercase. So here this to uppercase will uh, make this hairy which is in uh, lowercase to uppercase. Let's see the output. And this is how we get the output uh, if we use two uppercase uh, string method. We can use two lowercase as well. Um, but since it is already in lowercase, let's print it as it is. Now let's see indexing in this string. So this h is at index 0, a is at index 1. Then it is at index 2, 3 and y is at index 4. So the index will start from 0. Now let's write then use another method as slice and let's write uh, 2. Uh, first let's see the output. Here on second index we have r because 0, 1, 2 and when we use slice it will uh, print from second index up till the last index. We can also write like this. We can see the output as R only because what it will do it will print from second index to the value just before the third index value that is R. So here only R gets printed. For better understanding, let's write 4 over here. And if we see the output, we can see R R when we use 2 comma 4. So here the values from second index to the value up till third index gets printed. So let's write another method. Name dot base. Let's write And if you see the output here, uh, we are replacing H A R to B E R. So here, very gets printed. So this is another method of uh, string. So we also do have other methods of a string as well, which you can try by by yourself. So this is all about the strings in JavaScript and template reference in JavaScript. Thank you for watching.